Thank you, Madam Speaker. This morning, uh, I had the privilege of joining President Biden at the White House to celebrate the 31st anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act. This landmark civil rights law was drastically improved the lives of people with disabilities across our nation, including mine. In 1980, an accidental gunshot left me paralyzed, and for 10 years, I experienced firsthand the adversity that the disability community faced before the ADA. Since its enactment, this law has helped break down barriers and stamp out discrimination. It's opened doors to new opportunities for people with disabilities and allowed members of our community to reach previously unattainable places in society. In fact, I can say with confidence that without the ADA, I would not be a member of Congress proudly representing the people of Rhode Island. Madam Speaker, though we've made tremendous progress with the ADA, we can't stop fighting yet. I'll continue working closely with advocates and lawmakers, like my dear friend, our Majority Leader, Steny Hoyer, to advance meaningful legislation to support and protect the rights of people with disabilities. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I yield back the balance of my time. For what purpose?